Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce and welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. We are back with, uh, let me see here. I think this is reading your comments number 11. So for 11 weeks, we have been reading your comments every single Sunday and uh, uh, having a further conversation down in the premiere chat. This is a pre-recorded video because I just don't know how this vid this style of format would work in a live stream. So if you guys are here in the premiere chat, I hope you guys are having a blast. I should be down in the premiere chat with you. If I'm not, I'm a dick. <laughs> um, and overall, let's just get into this and let's have some fun. So let's start with last week's uh, reading your comments, uh, which is reading your comments number 10. Um, all right, let's go to newest comments first because I hate it when it goes to top comments. Okay. <clears throat> mango juice is mango mod status incoming working uh working on it until senpai will notice me i'm not i'm not i'm not senpai don't don't do that don't do that mango juice <laughs> uh guy gad boys the thing with disney slash esg investor videos uh because i've seen them elsewhere too is that um you feel all the news is in the headline uh and if you know what esg is uh, you know how much support it has, which makes one wonder if a single protest will have any impact. So, uh, that may be why people didn't watch it, but I'll go give it a spin. Cheers. Okay. I, I was, I was joking when I was, I think last week I was like, well, you guys don't love me. So you don't watch my, uh, Disney investor, uh, ESG video. Um, and I, so I was just screwing around on that, <laughs> but yeah, um, no, uh, and somebody else had actually commented later in the week something about, and I'll get to it, but it was something about, you know, making my uh, my titles more, oh, what's the word, uh, more direct. And I was like, well, I've tried the direct titles, but it seems when I do direct titles and videos, they really don't do very well. You know, it's like you've got to have that, like, I basically have to have a title that, like, that, like, angrily gets the supporters of like Eric July and Friday night tights to like click on the video and want to come in and like trash me. And then when they get there and they watch the video, they're just like, Oh yeah, no, this guy's cool. And then they like subscribe and bounce. So it's yeah, but no, the Disney, uh, in ESG investor video, that one didn't do that well, which, you know, it is what it is. I'm just glad I still talked about it. Um, and grown the red angel if you enjoyed the animation try other trigger shows like uh, uh darling in the franks ghost in the shell um apple seed uh ergo proxy ergo proxy boy that that would i would that would tongue twister 10 times fast uh psycho pass uh for more cyberpunk anime um and ghosts are particularly uh, relevant to our times. Yeah, so I've actually heard about Ghost in the Shell a lot from a lot of people. Um, and I will have to check all of that out. There's a list, there's a plethora of anime that I have to go check out um, on uh, over in my Gilded server. So but a lot of people are leaving anime recommendations over there in our recommendations pages. Laura, this was fun. Thank you, crazy. And by the way, uh, your voice inflections and animations are what keep it real. Keep it up. Thank you so much, Laura. Um, okay. So we're going to buck the trend here. Remember last week's reading the comments where the guy came in and dropped just an insanely long comment. It took me like 45 minutes to an hour for just his comment. Well, he did it again, only this time he left three that are insanely long. I am not going to read it. I I, I don't care. Uh, he ends up basically calling me uh, a far right, what is it, or something like that, and that I strawmanned all of his arguments. I am not going to spend an hour and a half reading this guy's comments. His name is Shuro Goth, or Shorgoth, okay, from five days ago. Uh, I I supposedly he speaks another language supposedly he's from france speaks another language um but he spent like hours typing up this and going i don't know anyway if you guys would like to go to reading your comments number 10 after this video go to reading your comments number 10 and read sure uh long i mean dude it's like a, it's like a for me to like try to argue and and do all this I mean, we're talking 
probably two hours. And I just, I am not going to, I'm not going to, especially for somebody who was like, I'm probably not going to come back to your channel, which he did say that. So, um, but yeah, if you guys want to read what Shorgoth said, uh, yeah, go, go read it. I am going to buck the trend. I will say thank you to Shorgoth for commenting. Like I say, thank you to everybody for commenting because I think it's awesome. I am not going to read it here. I am not going, no, it's, it's too long and it's, it's no. No, it's ridiculous, and I don't have that kind of patience this morning, so. Mm. Coffee. Oh, God, coffee. Uh, Super Neil Comics. Good evening, Royce. Uh, yeah, he was checking this out at night, so that was awesome. Um, also, Super Neil Comics again. Uh, I wish we would stop parroting buzzwords like toxic masculinity. Yeah, that one is, um, yeah, that's a thing. I like um, <laughs> uh, Super Neil Comics. Again, I think he I, <laughs> he was commenting quite a bit. He needs to get in on the premiere chat. I think he would have. Uh, he says, I'm in awe of your knowledge and intelligence, Royce. Well, thank you so much. I um, I, I have done my best to listen to people who are much smarter than I. Um, and, you know, at the very least, I guess I can feign intelligence by parroting some of the things that they've said. Right. I <laughs> I I. I do try. Um, one of the one of these days, I'll actually have enough time to sit down and start reading, uh, you know, uh, to, you know, educate myself further. But right now, all I can do is listen to a lot of podcasts and stuff. So thank you so much, Super Neil Comics. Uh, Super Neil Comics also said, I've molded myself into a victim which has been hardened over 35 long years. Oh, sir. And I told you in this comment, if you ever need anything, head over to the Gilded, send me a private message. I am willing to talk with anybody if they need it. Um, I mean, 35 years, that's that's uh, that's that's so older than I am. So I'm not saying that I, I have any wisdom or anything, but I know that everybody at least needs somebody there occasionally. Right. And that's something that I want to make sure that, you know, everybody knows out there. So, um, you know, we have a, a very, very supportive group of people in the uh down in the gilded chat so i would love for everybody to uh join the gilded chat because everybody over there has actually been really really fantastic all right uh ripaverse can't produce product yeah ripa where's my comic i see thousands of people getting their comic i don't have my comic yet i want it so bad <laughs> i just want to be like one of the cool kids who has the damn comic damn it <laughs> All right, Ripperverse can't produce product. Um, that that was one of those catchy video titles that I was talking about because it's fun. Um, because I, some a hole on Twitter was trying to tell, like trying to talk to Eric July about logistics. That was a great. All right, Super Neil Comics. Hey, I'm the first one. Yeah, he was going on a uh, he was going on a tear with. I think he was just sitting there bored at work or something, just checking out a bunch of my videos. So that was cool. Um, yeah, thank you so much for being the first one. Um, uh, Diogenes, 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 I think Diogenes, Diogenes. Anyway, he told me the other day in a live stream, and I still can't say his fucking name, so, but Diogenes of Sinope, uh, when people who don't write stories don't understand something, it takes a while. Not everything is going to work in your first draft slash script quality takes time yes i would have uh i would imagine that that is an in fact a thing um you know i have heard um i have heard a lot of reviews that the uh that isom was a good good first off still needs some work uh that's just the reviews that the private reviews that i've gotten they said the story was you know mostly solid um but again a lot to be desired still um but yeah so Honestly, it's going to take time, and I hope Eric July takes any any sort of criticism that he gets, and and uh, yeah, and 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 enhances his um, um, enhances what he is doing with Isom. All right, thank you so much, uh, Diogenes of Sinope. <laughs> Super Neo Comics back again. It seems it seems to me uh, Steel does not know the meaning of the word logistics. Yeah, no, that guy definitely didn't. And Super Neil Comics again. I do love your content, Royce. Well, thank you so much, sir. I appreciated it. it. Seems like you were getting. Seems like it seems like you were binging my content a little bit, and <laughs> that might not be healthy for you. <laughs> Too much of me is not uh, is not healthy at all. Ask my wife. It's it's terrible. It's terrible. Um, all right. Uh, Supernova Kane says it's simple. The man was guilty of too much success. Yes, 
Yes, he was Supernova Kane. Yes, he was. Uh, Kyle Phillips. Kyle Phillips is a Gilded member. He's down there in the Gilded. He's always having fun. Uh, wow, that's Twitter for you. Ha uh, Harebrained logic from a sad, ignorant people. Yeah, it's kind of fun to watch. It is. It, and I think that's the fun part. I don't like to go dunk on people on Twitter. I'm not the like the dunking type. Like, oh, I'm, you know. Um, no, I definitely think that it's. Uh, um, I I definitely think that Twitter is just it's just like well, and sometimes you just go there and you're like, all right, all right, I've had too much. I need I need to just not for a day or two. <laughs> uh how's xd uh yeah man just print on toilet paper and send forty thousand of them on camelback to deliver it uh <laughs> to deliver it you know what we sh uh should go ah god sir commas <laughs> uh to deliver it you know what we should you know what okay there commas there damn it we should go uh middle ages to have pigeons deliver it and uh we'll glue a bunch of cardboard boxes together to protect it uh we don't need anything bubble wrap or protection yeah yeah that's <laughs> pretty much that's what this goes what do you mean what do you mean logistics just get it out there just create a product and get it no that's what disney does disney you know consume next product that's all they want you to do so oh man uh how's xd again hopefully in the future he'll have uh uh superpower crackheads deliver on foot the motherfuckers faster than a kyogen seg jesco <laughs> On a serious note, I can't wait to get the book and definitely can't wait for your review. Uh, and you're doing, uh, and you doing lore and theory videos. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as I get the fucking book. <laughs> oh, second day. I don't know. My wife told me we were something like, we were like 20,000 orders in or something like that by the time we ordered or something. I, I don't know. So maybe, I don't know. I, I didn't, I mean, we were second day. I just didn't realize that many orders came in in that. I, and I was keeping track of it too. So. Mm. Oh, coffee. Mm. Oh, sweet, sweet nectar of the gods. Oh, it's so good. Okay. Uh, Tyler Mayer, Twitter should not be allowed to exist. It really has enabled the stupidest people of the world. Yeah. Yeah, I think all of us thought the internet at one point in time was going to be amazing and we were going to have this, you know, the entire summation of human knowledge at our fingertips and nope. <laughs> it's all about dunking on people being stupid and titties. That's what the internet is about. That's just how it is. I, I wish. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, God. Uh, Xavier Guzman. Uh, if my day don't start with Twitter, it ain't going to be a good day. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> have mercy. I was doing the Uncle Jesse thing last week. Uh, I miss that was a good show. Full House was a good show. I like that show. Oh, man. Um, all right. Garcia XV legend. He is here with like he thought he had long posts. OK, no. Garcia XB Legend, if you're watching this, your posts are minuscule compared to, like, not in quality, but they're actually maximum in quality, but minuscule when it comes to the amount of words that you use. Thank you for doing that. Um, hold up these, uh, hold up these Twitter yachts are just ignorant people who don't know how business works. Uh, think it's that simple. Like, no, logistics. Like, <laughs> do they even know how they get their shit from Amazon or other shopping sites? Apparently, they have fairy godparents just to wish their product to pop into their hands. Like, no need to have some sort of helping hand, uh, shipment artist, colorist, a company, etc. Like, nah, I want that shit to just come around uh, the way that I know it goes. Pff, logistics. Like, what is that? <laughs> like, really, bro? Better be, um, uh, better be a sarcastic troll because I'd rather laugh than have my head hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all I said to that was centralized education is failing. Centralized education the world over is failing, and it's and it's incredible to see. Um, and hopefully we can just eradicate centralized education. That would be fantastic. Uh, you know, 
people could start teaching their kids again. Anyway, thank you so much, Garcia XV Legend. But yeah, no, people just don't understand logistics and how a business functions and how it works and all gets put together. It's fucking stupid. Uh, Maji Chan, technically husband and wife are acknowledged as a pair, so the term we is more appropriate than a uh, word to be used. Uh, uh, drink for your... <laughs> drink for thought cheers thank you so much Maji Chan. yeah well because i was like because i didn't i didn't even know the book was bought i had no idea i didn't i didn't know that she was gonna buy the ison book so when i say you know my wife bought it i mean i mean it's it's our money like we have a joint bank account and no other separate bank accounts we have one bank account period that is it i think that that is the best way for people to run a household um, and just a side note on that, if you're the type of person that was like, oh no, I need to have a separate account for my significant other. Okay. If you need to have money separated from the person you're spending your life with, you either need to reevaluate you or reevaluate that relationship. Okay. Money. No, it's, it's the house's money. Anyway. Um, but yeah, so I keep saying that my wife bought it instead of me buying it because I didn't know. I had no idea she bought it until she literally told me uh, that she was like, no, you're going to get those books. I was like, what do you mean? And she's like, no, I, I bought. I, she's like, I bought you a signed one and I bought you an unsigned one. And I was like, are you fucking serious? Like, I had no clue. It was like three or four days. Later. She was like, I was, I was going to try to keep it a secret with you. She's like, but it's going to be months until it comes out. And she's like, I just couldn't do that to you. So <laughs> uh, I, that's why I say that she bought it, not me, because I had no, I just, I, and I, I don't check our fucking bank account, dude. Like I call my wife and say, Hey babe, do we have money in the bank account? And she says, yes or no. And I'm like, cool. Like it's, it's that easy. It's that easy. All right. Um, thank you so much. Maji Chan, uh, Van Vidal. Yeah. Fuck them papers. Just get it out. <laughs> <laughs> that should be a shirt just get it out just get it out that should be a shirt just get it out it's fine it's fine just get it out oh maybe that's what i should do i should do some cheap ass like teespring store just with my stupid ass lo slogans on them oh god oh bright all right your lighting was atrocious here the yellow comes off yeah i know i know i know damn it all right, I got to read this one again. I remember this. I thought this was last week. I mean, technically it was last week, but I thought I already read it. <sighs> Your lighting was atrocious here. The yellow light comes in uh, from too sharp of an angle and makes you look odd. Uh, take it as a constructive feedback, not an attack. And I did. And that's also why I literally have this light here as a red hue now, as a warm tone to wash out this yellow fucker. The problem is, is if I turn this one up here off, which is, it's just an incandescent, if I turn this off, there's no fucking lighting down. Like, it's dark as fuck. So, I have to figure that situation out. And I, I don't have a solution yet. I used to actually have a bunch of uh, studio lighting that were on, like, tripods and stuff. No clue where they are. Not a... I mm -mm, just don't know. I have no idea. I haven't seen them since like before we moved. I find like the bags that like some of the bulbs are in for the for the lighting. No idea where the hell my studio lighting went at all. Like I, it would be oh, maybe I, I just I probably just got to buy some more. But the problem is I don't really have a lot of room down here. I had to figure out. Um, I really do have to figure something out, though. I just don't know what. But yeah, so that's why my lighting solutions are the way that they are. But Bright continues, um, you know, to go on after he can constructively criticizes me. That's what you call it. Uh, regarding your thesis, I have some experience of uh, production and logistics both. And I believe that Ripa had 95% of the things you mentioned uh, covered. He said coward, but uh, autocorrect covered already. Uh, any halfway competent person uh, would. And Ripa had a lot of help from a lot of uh, competent people. In my view, there are two things to blame for the turnaround time. Okay, and so I think that that was... Uh, so here's one thing. I think my thing was, you know, talking about... And a lot of it was like the scaling that happened, right? Like, yes, Ripa did have a lot of stuff in place, but I was also trying to be a, a, a cheeky, sarcastic asshole in this video um, because sometimes you just, you know, you got to be that way, like... It's just what it is. But anyway, so. 
Oh my god, Nectar of the Gods. Oh god. Oh, coffee. I was up way too late last night. So, um, <clears throat> the turnaround time thing I wasn't really worried about because Ripa was updating us. And I understand everything that has to go into place. And when, again, all of a sudden you go from thinking you're going to get a couple hundred thousand dollars to getting a couple three million dollars, like, you know, oh, crap. Well, we, um, that's a lot of orders that we have to fulfill. So I, I, I get why the uh, the shipping date and the uh, the turnaround time got uh, that got got pushed back so damn far so anyway one the level of success came as a surprise absolutely uh even if you look at the most successful comic crowd funds this isn't a crowd fund but the process uh but the process are almost identical in all areas except tax related very true uh the magnitude here uh most have come as a pleasant surprise yes yes Absolutely. Two, uh, if you deliver too promptly, you lose this stir on social media and you uh, and you slow roll a bit. Yeah. Uh, every spurg that uh, Quebec an attack on social media. I don't know that word. K-V-E-T-C-H. I don't know that word. And I swear to God, if you guys spell it in the premiere chat or just like, no, it's or like, give me, I don't know, the phonetics of it. I get Quebec. Anyway, uh, Spurg that Kvect and attack uh, on social media during this phase can readily be transformed into sympathy slash spite buys. Yeah, that's very true. I call I call them uh, SS uh, dollary dues yeah. <laughs> uh, from people that uh, that don't read. <clears throat> Sorry, he said doesn't here, but I think there's some spell check here that don't read comics, but uh, that loathes how the uh, Spurglings have uh, behaved these last 10 years and thusly buy, uh, buys only to show the support for uh, the creator slash spite the opposition. So this phase, you really should let percolate. Sorry, man. Oh, my brain just got fried. Uh, <laughs> so this phase, you, sh uh, you should, <laughs> you should, you really should, God, let percolate in this climate. See how EBS or uh, JDA uh, use the spurgling attacks uh, for the very clear example of this. Uh, this isn't so much about comics as it is supplying a victory slash hope to the portion of the population that hasn't checked out mentally with drugs, media, or despair. Um, and that is why you uh, are really selling, in my opinion. Uh, I haven't done it. Uh, I haven't done any comics, but I've done quite a bit of marketing in my professional life. Uh, I mostly sheet post <laughs> on my private social media. Just my two cents here. So that is a great way to end. Okay, unlike that guy, that Shorgoth guy, who had to have the prerequisite for why he was able to like even begin to talk about it because he again he had that prerequisite about the you know the ten years and the twenty five years and then like I know more because I personally this guy is just like. He comes in, he lays out his stuff, and then at the very end, he's like, oh, yeah, by the way, like, I, you know, marketing's kind of in my professional life, so, and that's just my two cents. Like, he didn't even, yeah, so he didn't have to pre-qualify anything. The entire thing about his marketing and his professional life, I don't even think, like, that's not even a post-qualifier. He just, he, he already qualifies all of his statements, and then at the very end of it, he's like, hey, just so you know, like, I'm not coming at this from a comic standpoint, I'm coming at it from a professional standpoint. So, Bright, thank you so much for that comment. No, and I think you're absolutely correct. No, I think you're correct on that. So uh, getting the uh, the spite buys and all that, that's 100%, I think, what would like part of um, the marketing strategy there, right? The problem is, is I don't know how long they're going to be able to keep that up if he keeps producing items because supposedly we're getting two more campaigns by the end of the year. That's what we were promised, so. All right. Oh, so that was bright. Sassy 77. Uh, people like that guy make me think of their wonderful line from Freddy Got Fingered. He couldn't handle the complexities of making a cheese sandwich. Uh, the amount of time and effort they devote to posting these crazy comments makes me think they don't work or have real hobbies. Yeah. Yeah. And then you get, you know, a-holes like me. They're like, oh, hey, let's go read it. <laughs> so they, what does that say about them or <laughs> me? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Thank you so much, Sassy77. Matt Hatter, 1776. I honestly do not think he was expecting this type of actual success. I don't think he was either. Like I said, um, my guess is I'm, I'm guessing Eric probably thought he'd get, you know, 
few hundred thousand and he'd probably make his money back plus a little bit extra maybe uh maybe five hundred thousand dollars you know because when somebody was like dude why didn't you set like your actual goal like higher and he's like you think a hundred thousand dollars is is low <laughs> like and i think and i think it's because eric realistically kind of understands that everybody's in, in a little you know they're in some tight straits right now i won't say dire straits yet we're, we're heading there um but I think Eric understands that, you know, money is, is, is hard to come by and a hundred thousand dollars is a lot. I mean, you look at every other comic book out there that it, it appears to be kind of what they're doing. I mean, you know, uh, Shadowversity was able to break a hundred thousand. I don't know if Crimson Wren from Clownfish TV was able to do it yet. Uh, John Della Rose is only at like 40,000 with his Overmind comic. I mean, you go and you look at some of these other places, like, I mean, realistically, like for him to hit what he did in the time frame that he did was it, it, it probably wasn't fathomable because he probably looked at all of the places that he would be competing with all these other comics. Yes, they would be crowd funds. His wasn't. But that's who he's competing with. Right. And seeing how much money they came up with and the time frames they came up with it in. And that's probably where he got his hundred thousand dollar mark from is like a hey, realistically in this amount of time we could probably hit this much money i mean and nothing has done that nothing has had this much mass appeal i mean it's 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 absolutely insane so thank you so much mad hatter 1776 uh sampa m whale uh do people think things are made of wishes and pixie dust i really think they do dude i know people or I've seen posts of people like there, there's idiots that thinks that, you know, meat comes from the store. Food just food just comes from the store. Which is just terrifying to think about. <clears throat> so thank you, Sampa. Um, uh, uh, Greg Augustine, uh, you're so on point breaking down the actual work in not only putting out a book, but also building an actual business. Thank you. Dude probably thinks July is just selling a handful of homemade crafts on Etsy or something, right? Dude, I know. If I could make $3 million selling like macaroni stuff, I would. And that's, I think, what people genuinely think he is doing. Um, uh, so thank you so much, Greg Augustine. I like your last name, by the way, man. Augustine, that's a strong name. Uh, <clears throat> Warwick author, the complaint that, fresh made, that frustrated me the most was definitely the cost. 30K for one book, it doesn't cost that much. Is he even selling anything at all? Man, I'm trying to create my own 120-page graphic novel. Oh, we've got an Iron Age creator. This is an Iron Age creator, Warwick author. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Yep. Okay. I talked with him about it. So yeah. Um, when I, when he gets this done, um, he should be in contact with me and I'm going to get him on here. Um, I'm my, my channel's turning into iron age media, whether that's movies, comics, television, um, graphic novels, novels, poems, I guess. Um, Oh shit. I got to read some stuff from fucking trippy today too. Ha. I remembered. Okay. Okay. Um, 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 wait. I, I told, I, I told Kyle last week that I would read one of his poems on stream today and cause I keep forgetting. So I'm going to write a note. Um, I told him to remind me and he didn't remind me. Um, cause, and I don't want to forget by the end. So I'm going to leave a note and I'm going to set it in an obvious, like, I can't. All right, there we go. Read Kyle's poems. That's not even my handwriting. I don't even know what that. Okay, cool. Sorry. Um, getting back to Warwick author. Sorry about that. You're on my channel. We're going to go on some journeys, okay? <laughs> All right. Um, man, I'm trying to create my 120 page graphic novel with an art with an artist and colorist. And just the art alone is going to cost almost 30 K and I'm paying for it out of my own pocket. If you want high quality art, you gotta, you, uh, you got to front the money. Yeah. I'm glad Eric is successful. It's been more than a year that I've had my project in the works and it's excruciating trying to figure out all the details when it comes to figuring out how to create the book, publish it, and then start up a company. It's a 
lot. And most of the critics are never going uh, to actually try themselves. Sorry, this was a rant, but it has been on my mind for a while now. Dude, rant, rant. That wasn't a rant. That was a fucking sermon. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, preach, dude, preach that. No, seriously. Like that's absolutely, absolutely. Hey, so I'm going to do that thing this week and hopefully I remember to edit it out where I disappear and go fill up my coffee. And then I come back and I tell you guys that you, with the magic of editing, you have no idea that I was even gone. And last week I tried to do that and I totally forgot to edit it out. So if I, if I forget this week, you guys can totally make fun of me, but let me go fill up my coffee really quick. <laughs> All right. And with the magic of editing, you guys don't even know that I left or I didn't actually edit that out. And you guys totally know that I left. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. I totally spaced last week. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Warwick author. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Billy Bixby, how many products do you have? Clout Chasing 101. I don't know if he was saying this to me or if he was just kind of commenting to like the Twitter guy. So all I responded with, excuse me, sir, I have four products. I shipped them to my wife and she brought them to market. Uh, also, I can't wait to get my uh, two Isom books. Very excited waiting to get the, uh, the email that they shipped. And then we had a, a, good, uh, uh, a good conversation uh, uh, after that. So that was really, really fun. Um, <laughs> it's like... I don't, I mean, am I not clout chasing? Is this other guy clout chasing? Who are you saying was the clout chaser? Billy Bixby, if you see this video, who are you saying was the clout chaser? Was it me? Either way, either way. Um, <clears throat> I, yeah, that's why I was like, because he could be talking to me. He could not be. I don't know. So I just responded. I was like, oh, fuck it. If you're talking to me, might as well make it funny. Uh, so thank you so much, Billy Bixby. <laughs> All right. Uh, Patrick Wright, 100% support Eric D. July and his Ripperverse. The naysayers are idiots. It is true. It is true. Patrick Wright again. Um, your title is confusing. Oh, this was the one I was talking about earlier. Your title is confusing. You'd probably get more viewers if you were more direct with your intended message in the title. So, yeah, that's one of the things. Like, being like, um, <clears throat> talking about business logistics or dunking on Twitter guy because he doesn't know what logistics is, like, that would not get clicks. Um, and I'm not saying that like it would have to be that drab of a title, but I have tried titles before and still do sometimes because I just can't think of anything creative at the time. But this video has almost a thousand views right now, which is actually really, really good for this channel. Um, you know, and there, there are channels out there that can get tens of thousands of views in minutes when they put up a video. This channel here, um, I have pretty much figured out by looking at all of the other channels that are much, much bigger than mine, they get about 20% to 25% of whatever their total subscriber count is um, as like their average view count per video, right? And then watch time factors in, but uh, watch time. But anyway, but you want to have about 20 to 25% of your audience checking out all of your videos because that seems to be what based off of all of the, you know, I mean, obviously it'd be great if 100% or 80% or whatever, but them's just not, that that's just not the numbers <clears throat> so i had to go and i i literally found this out by scrolling down youtube from all of the subscribe from all of the people that i follow and that trend seemed to hold true with the uh with a couple of exceptions uh, uh that would there was like two or three exceptions that were either lower than that 25 percent or like much higher than that 25 percent uh but usually it's right around about 20 to 25 percent of your overall audience is checking out the videos so my titling and my thumbnails are a big thing. And generally when I put down a, um, generally when I put down a video in a, or a title or anything like that, and I'm direct with it, it usually doesn't hit. And so I have tried to find a way to kind of come up with like, again, Eric can't produce product, right? For the people who know my channel, they're going to go, oh, cool. I know what Royce is talking about. For people who don't know my channel, they're going to be one of two camps. They're either going to go, yeah, fuck that Eric July guy. I'm gonna, And then they're going to come in and then they're just going to try to shit talk me. And then I get to read their comments on a Sunday for all of you guys. Or you guys are going to be like, wait a minute, Eric can produce product. I'm going to go dunk on this guy. And then you come in and then you hear me and you go, wait a minute. This guy's got a point. And then you maybe like my style, like my channel and you get drawn in. So 
it's somewhat of a little bit of a clickbaity way. I don't think it's true clickbait because I still remember the origin of clickbait. Um, being that like it was, I mean, there were like thumbnails with like girls like ripping their shirts open and they had like their big boobs out there. And then it'd be like, oh, do you want to see what's and be like, oh, and you'd click on that video. And it's like some guy sitting there stirring like some eggs, like teaching you how to cook an omelet. And you're like, that's not what I clicked on this video for. So I'm not trying to do clickbait. I am trying to be as honest as I can about like what I'm talking about in what I say, but I'm trying to word it in a cheeky way. So Patrick Wright, thank you so much for commenting. And I hope that you uh, come come back. I hope that <clears throat> you enjoy the channel. Um, Not the dude you're looking for. I got mine in the mail today. Sweet patience, uh, <laughs> patience whiners. He commented this yesterday. He commented this yesterday. I see how it is. Uh-huh. Not the dude you're looking for. Uh -huh. See ya. I got mine in the mail. You're just a whiner. Shut the fuck up. Fucking come on my channel and call me a fucking whiner. You know what, dude? I just want my book, okay? <laughs> That's all I want. It's not that hard, okay? All I want is my book. All right, let's jump over here to a live stream uh, comment real quick because I did two live streams this week um, and they don't have very many comments. So let's cover the live stream uh, comments that came up. Um, uh, Lucy Placentia. Okay, and I'm going to have to be very careful with how I read this one. Of course, this comment will be deleted. Uh, it's all controlled opposition. Bill Gates has... Um, <laughs> Uh, he's done bad things to billions of people around the world uh, with this uh, new uh, jabby jab technology uh, and, uh, and and bad and, and, and bad needle craft. Uh, American governments are the um, not can't read that. There is a full on biological warfare on humanity. I think so. AI is the beast, uh, the plan to replace humanity with AI clones simultaneously of what humanity used to be. Or, or simulations of what humanity used to be. Uh, the transgender is leading into transhumanism. Very true. And world leaders are, are literally demons. Yes. So sorry I couldn't read all of that. But there are definitely things that like. They would probably. Yeah. They would probably hit the channel for. Um, I'm not even sure if that comment will stay up or not. Not by me either. Like. I don't think they said anything bad, but like there's just some things in there that I'm just like, mm, I better be careful about this one. Uh, all right. Live stream Iron Age Media. Let's read that one later. We'll come back to that live stream later. OK, the next video up is Deadpool uh, 3 2024 with Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. Uh, this one. See, and this was one of those videos that at the time that I made it like it was just under that 20 percent mark. Right. Uh, for viewership it was like 100 views, which is fine. Uh, now it's not now because something happened and we're getting to what happened this last week. All right. Convoy Bebop. When I saw the announcement drop, I was like, you know who would want to talk about this? Royce. Glad I could help. Yeah. Convoy Bebop. He is the master moderator of the channel and actually just ran the first session of our D&D &D campaign last night. We fucking went five hours. We had some technical difficulties to get through and. I think he said he's actually going to try to edit that video together and, and see if he can put something out that's uh, somewhat entertaining. So we shall see. Mm. All right. Uh, Convoy Bebop again. Also, Ryan Reynolds did a few serious movies. I haven't really seen them, but they exist. And then um, Xavier Guzman commented Buried. Yes, I have heard about Buried and that interesting, interesting concept there. Toxic Crusader. Under any other circumstances, I would be throwing... Uh, a hurricane party here in Florida, but I really don't see Disney purging all of the ESG enthusiasts. Hate to bring negativity, but I got to side <clears throat> with Whipra on this one. This is a 100% get-rich-quick scheme uh, for Disney to fund future garbage projects, like how the latest Spider, yep, I think he meant Spider-Man, was used to fund the awful Disney Plus shows. You're 100% correct. Although, I think most of that money went to Sony. Most of the, uh, I mean, Disney made some money off of it, but I think most of it went to uh, went to Sony, but depending on how much they made. Yeah, no, um, I'm going to be honest. I so the first Deadpool was is a riot. I love the first Deadpool. I think it's I think it's just it's a blast. It's just a blast. The second Deadpool. I don't ever care to watch it again. It was a fun I, I have seen it a couple of times. Not as like 
I watched it once when it came out. Um, and then we watched it. Um, I think my wife wanted to watch it again. And so I just like incidentally like was in the room, but I was doing something else. I, I'm not really a big fan of the second Deadpool movie. It's it's fine, but it's not good in my opinion. Um, it's not bad either. It's just, you know, I don't know. It just didn't land for me. Um, and I'm worried about what they're going to do with the third one, but yeah, so we'll see. Uh, but thank you so much. Toxic crusader unknown Venus star. Well, Kevin Feige and crew have already confirmed that Deadpool three will, uh, still be R rated like its predecessors. Yeah, but that could go badly, but it does. I mean, Deadpool has to be an R-rated movie. He's just, he's, you know, the bad language and all of the stuff with Deadpool, like, and the blood and the violence, like that is Deadpool from the comic book. So if you're going to stay true to that character, you got to do it. Xavier Guzman, the internet literally exploded. I can still see the binary code raining down from the sky. Yes. Yes, it did. Uh, Xavier Guzman again. And this movie is damn near uh, almost 100% for sure getting an R. Uh, rating lol um this movie okay yeah uh at least i hope so aren't the other two movies r rated too yes they are yes they are um they absolutely are uh laura i can't wait my favorite okay so i actually know laura personally in my personal life and uh she uh she loves hugh jackman's wolverine this is a very very different type of movie laura i would very strongly recommend to not watch the Deadpool movies, please. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but yeah. So if you, if you ever see Laura comment, like I know her like personally. And so, yeah, that's uh, yeah, no. All right. Uh, Garcia XV legend. All I can say is bucket. I'm in Wolverine slash Logan is my number one favorite Marvel character. And I'm looking forward to how modern, uh, Disney slash Marvel studios have, have been getting a lot of hiccups despite trying to pretend they're doing fine. Uh, it seems like this is a desperate action uh, due to their numbers on the viewership and partially money going down. Being skeptical, though, I know for a fact they want to add in something that is somewhat relevant from the outside world to inject. But since it's going to be released in 2024, uh, we don't know for sure. Yeah, that's one of the things that I think. Um, I, I, yeah, I agree with that. I don't know if I'm excited for it so much. I mean, seeing Hugh Jackman as Wolverine before, like, I, do I really need to see him again? It's kind of like I've seen Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man before. Do I really need to see it again? No, I think you just, you know, it was good for its time and just let it go. Just let it, you know, just let it fade away now. The problem is, is if we keep ripping our heroes out of the past and into the present, um, we're screwed. We're just, we're just screwed. We have to let we have to let our heroes remain timeless. And the more we keep ripping them into the future and doing modern takes or giving them more stories or adding to them, their timelessness is not going to it's not going to stand. All right. Uh, Sonny Kim, I can't get into Van Wilder uh, uh, pool either. Uh, um, yeah, Sonny. Uh, yeah, the Van Wilder movies. Uh, if you guys don't know, Ryan Reynolds was in those. Yeah. So. That was a thing. Oh, my God. 45 minutes. Holy crap. Oh, you guys commented a lot this week. Thank God I didn't read the long one. Uh, Kim J, we may as well call it Disney's Deadpool because they will find a way to make it suck. Uh, it wouldn't be our the R-rated great Deadpool we knew. No, probably not. You're absolutely right, Kim J. Giovanni Tuminia. Sorry, but I'm not even remotely excited about this for several reasons. Uh, yeah, I think you're right, Giovanni Tuminia. I don't disagree. I, I reported the news as something that, you know, you could potentially be excited out or could potentially not be, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm out of, I, I don't know. I, I want to focus on the Iron Age creators. I'll probably check some stuff out. And if I do, and it's good, I'll maybe do a review on it. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my stupid sinuses in the morning. It's terrible. It's probably because I'm dehydrated all the time. Hmm. All right, Kyle Phillips, why stop with Wolverine? May as well get Sabretooth, Omega Red, and Lady Deathstrike, too. <laughs> yeah, stop it. Stop it, Kyle. Stop it. Just let them, don't, stop, don't give them any ideas. Uh, Mango Juice, amazing new. Two Fox legends finish up their runs together. <laughs> uh, Logan, slice my panties. Oh, God. 
<laughs> Logan slices my panties off. That's going to get clipped. Mango juice. That's going to get clipped. And see, that's what I mean, dude. The ladies love Hugh Jackman. The ladies love Hugh Jackman. I think it's because he's like, he's a rugged fucking dude. Like, you know, he's got fucking muscles. He's got like hair on his chest. You know, he looks like, like, I think that that's what the ladies really like about Hugh Jackman is that, you know, he, he's, you know, he looks like a rugged man. He looks like a man that would take charge. So, um, even though he, you know, he's a Broadway singer. Iron Age Media is winning. Ripiverse, Razorfist, Clownfish TV, and Shadowversity. Welcome to the Iron Age. Just so you guys are aware, this video, as of right now, has over four times uh, the amount of uh, views on it as my channel has subscribers. There are 4,361 views on this video with 110 comments. Now, the comments come from the threads, and I only read the initial comments. This video blew up in a way that I did not fucking realize it was going to. <clears throat> so let's get into this one. This one made me change a few things on the channel. All right. <clears throat> scrolling, 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 still scrolling, still scrolling. It'll happen. It'll get there. Uh, cool. All right. Uh, Diogenes of Sinope. I still can't say that name. Uh, who needs moderator? Uh, who needs moderators? Make the internet the Wild West again. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, that would be that would be great. Oh. But there was a lot of dark shit on, like, Internet 1.0. Oh, dude, Internet 1.0 was dark as fuck. We've, we've all been to those websites. And I'm not even talking, like, porn websites. I'm talking about... Anyway, yeah, like, shit that they're just like, no, you can't show that online anymore. Like, we've, we've all been there as kids. We all saw some shit that we shouldn't have. Like, that's why we're all fucked up in the heads now. Mango Juice discovered Razor Fist this year. He is hilarious, but I would hate to be his friend. He talks too fast for a chill night. <laughs> Uh, I said, well, I guess you would hate to hang out with me then, uh, Mango Juice. Oh, I guess it depends. I don't know. Sometimes I can talk fast. Sometimes I can talk slow. Sometimes I can sleep and, you know, sometimes I can't. All right, Laura, uh, I love how you support others who share your passion. It's refreshing that you don't make it a competition. The world needs more supporters and f uh, and fewer backbiting, clawing competitors. Cheers to you, Royce. Thank you so much, Laura. Uh, Kyle Phillips, <clears throat> uh, Kyle Phillips, I really need to make friends with an artist, uh, someone great at drawings, but not, uh, someone great at drawings, but not at writing. And with our combined forces, we shall rule the galaxy. Mechanical breathing noises. <laughs> Kyle Phillips, uh, Jim Connor says, um, uh, dope. He also, and I, fuck, did I not reply to this? Uh -huh. No, I guess I didn't reply to this. Jen Connor also says, uh, uh, hope you do coverage on Zest World and stuff like that too. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so all these comments were flooding in so quickly. I was just kind of uh, hearting. I, like if I read your comments or I like what you guys are saying, I leave a heart, right? That's what I try to do. To, just to let you guys know that I'm, you know, seeing what you're, you're putting out there. Um, no, I haven't done, uh, done any coverage on Zest World. Um, let me see. I'm going to move this note that I need to, uh, fucking keep up here so I can read one of Kyle Phillips, um, Zest World comics, uh, our comics. Ooh, that looks interesting. Their artwork looks pretty good. Hmm. Interesting. Their artwork looks really good and it looks like they've got a variety of different things here we might have to do some coverage on that you know what thank you so much man um all right it is up in the browser now sweet <clears throat> very interesting maybe we'll do a video on that this week zest world comics um <clears throat> and let me reply to him uh uh, just 
just looked it up and I will be possibly doing a video on it. All right. And my note for Kyle Phillips's. Okay. Stay. All right. Got to read Kyle's poem. I got to read Kyle's poem. I told Kyle I would do it. I told him I would do it. I, he's literally been asked, hey, dude, would you read my, and I like, I've read a couple of his poems, but like, I also keep forgetting to read some other stuff that he sent me. Um, Cheyenne, I'm loving the positive energy you bring. Enthusiasm for the indies. Uh, you love to see it. Well, thank you so much, Cheyenne. I appreciate that. Uh, Evan writes, he's been here before. Evan Wright. why do I know that name? That guy's like a bigger YouTube guy. I don't remember. Anyway, Evan writes, I'd like to make a comic, but um, I'd like to make a comment. Don't think I'd ever get enough traction to be considered Iron Age, though. At least I can support Clownfish, Ripa, and Shad. Yeah, I'm kind of there, too. I don't know. I have an idea for a comic that I think would be really, really fun to do. Um, I mean, everybody does, right? Um, but it's it's not superhero-based at all. It's just something fun. Uh, and I, I want to see if I can actually, I don't know, maybe. I'm, I'm already working on the story slowly. And if I actually, you know, sit down and dedicate some time to writing it and reworking it and getting more drafts out and editing it, then I'd have to find an artist and that's going to cost me like 50 grand and I don't have that kind of money, but I don't know. Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll put out one of my own comics one of these days. So we shall see. Um, Conan, uh, Icy K. Oh yeah, he was okay. Uh, Icy K is pronounced e uh, Easy Kai or Easy Kai. Kai, easy Kai, meaning journey or to or finding yourself in an in another world. Uh, good examples of the genre and manga are anime and Sword Art Online and Doctor Stone. Good episode, Royce, and we are enter uh, we are entering the Iron Age of media, where it will be independent publishers who will dominate the new media landscape, regardless of what the other side does. And then, like a bunch of people came on to reply to Lucas Garrett. Like five people came on to reply to him. Thank you so much, Lucas Garrett. I appreciate you being here. Billy Bobsack says, orange man, orange man. I know. Okay. I know. I have to figure out a better lighting solution. You know, <clears throat> but I don't like, I don't want to spend a bunch of money just to look like a cheap Insta thought. I want to spend a little bit of money to look like a cheap Insta thought. <laughs> Uh, banana phone says I don't know how I got here but I'm glad I did please keep it up oh sir sir I don't know what rabbit hole you went down on YouTube to get here but I am glad to have you and don't go down that rabbit hole again that's a scary place dude <laughs> thank you so much banana phone Tim Allen dude you need to try mead it's healthier for you than beer okay so the one mead that I have ever had it was a home it was a, a homebrew mead that somebody that was like a honey mead uh, it was way too sweet like I couldn't, I couldn't drink it. I, I was like, this is, and they're like, oh, it's, and then people are like, yeah, this is really good. And I was like, this is, no, this is not good. I don't, I, I, no, no. I couldn't even drink it. It was so damn sweet. So yeah, but if you guys know like other places to get like a mead that is decent, I'll try it. I'm game. Um, uh, Dreadnought Fian, I'm trying to reclaim a D and D with my uh setting with my setting guide good um we actually just did our first D, &D session last night and it was a blast and i can see why a lot of people are very passionate about that game that's the first time i've ever played D, D, so uh might might be putting that out on the channel we're not we're not sure yet we gotta there was a lot of problems that we had to work out it went five hours because some of the some of the issues and stuff that we had to do so but thank you so much for commenting, Dreadnought. Tim Allen, did I say thank you to you? Tim Allen, thank you for commenting. And Dreadnought Fiend, thank you for commenting. Uh, Matthew Brantner, <clears throat> life finds a way. What do you mean? What do you mean, good sir? I'm, 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 I'm confused. All right. <clears throat> Augur Aut Autenreath. Okay. I'm writing two books right now. One is a military science fiction. Two, uh, one is fantasy, time travel, parallel universe, alt reality mashed up. Also, I have a pretty sick idea for a manga type graphic novel. I just need an artist. Um, <clears throat> uh, I just need an artist to take a, a chance to hear my ideas. I've gotten really positive feedback from 
a super prolific author and we became friends ironically over Twitter, but it was uh, over college football. I never really tried bugging him about uh, in, uh, about inside scoop on his books, just general um, about, okay. Oh God, it's hard to read with uh, punctuation and like auto corrects and stuff uh, about any of his books. He, I don't want to say he made be made and or, or if any of his books be made into films and he told me all about the shitty world of optioning and the perils of the Holly weird. Okay. I see what you're saying there. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yep. Yep. You asked an author that, you know, about his stuff getting made into, uh, his stuff getting made into, in, into, um, movies and stuff like that. And it was shitty. Okay. I got it. Anyway, I won't say his name, but he is considered the father of alternative history books. Uh, he actually asked. Uh, to see what I was working on and was very impressed, uh, impressed, gave me some notes and said I needed to put it out. And the only reason you want a publisher is for marketing. But uh, being new, it's best doing DIY nowadays. Any artist looking to collaborate, send me a message. Get this man a message. Also, when you get it done, come back. I want to see what you're doing. Thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> Augur Autenreath. Hopefully, I'm reading that correctly. All right. Chris Sedica. Uh, flamboyance or flamboyancy? Not flamboyantness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I, almost said, I almost said a word that I'm not allowed to say on YouTube. Because uh, you could say flamboyant. And then I was going to say something else. Watch Nick Ricada. He says it once he hits the two hour mark on his live stream. He, he says that word a lot. Uh, another of Marvel's modern problems is the... Uh, is the typos and the editorial gaffes that slipped through with regularity here in the iron age. There's always, uh, someone an, enough of a dick for me, for example, uh, uh, to proffer to, to maybe offer to pro offer corrections that said, good video subbed. Thank you so much, Chris Seneca. Um, Richard 66, great stuff, brother. You've got the gift of the silver tongue. Vegeta and Andrew, fucking subscribed, LOL. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Yeah, um, I have what is known as the gift of gab. Uh, it's also known as the gift of shut the fuck up and let somebody else talk. The good thing is, is that there's only the camera down here right now and the camera can't tell me what to fucking do, which is awesome. Thank you so much, Richard66. Uh, Twitter is entertain <clears throat> Twitter is entertaining as an example of a societal death spiraling or society death spiraling. Yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong. <sighs> but it's fun. You know, you might as well. Like, smoke them if you got them. That's where I'm at at this point. Uh, Victor Vile, thank you so much. Um Bio Kiddo. Uh, winning what? None of it is very good. I would strongly disagree. I think a lot. Uh, yeah. So this person is just kind of coming in, just being negative, uh, which is fine. But they're like winning, but none of it's very good. How do you know? I mean, you're none, really, none, zero percent, zero percent of what is being considered Iron Age comics right now is good. I mean, none of it is very good. Like, okay. What's our, what, 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 what are you quantifying? How much of it have you read? I mean, like, where, where are we going from here? That's the thing. None of it. No, I think, I, I think you'd be categorically wrong. I mean, I read shadow binders and shadow binders was damn good. I mean, that wasn't really iron age. I think iron age is, is new. Iron age is something that is iron age is something that is going to be even more indie than comics gate stuff was. So yeah. Um, but thank you so much bio kiddo. Um, Raylan Givens, maybe flaming flamboyancy. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, And then, yeah, th then there was this, then there was this comment. From the Rageaholic, or as you might humbly know him, Razor Fist. That was insane uh, to wake up. On Friday morning, I got to sleep in a little that day because I had a meeting. So I got to sleep until like quarter after five, which was awesome. And I saw this comment. 
at like five in the morning. Which the funny thing was, it wasn't there when I couldn't sleep that night at like one thirty, two o'clock in the morning. That comment wasn't there. So Razorfish showed up to the channel. So from the Rageaholic, or as you all know him, Razorfist. Godspeed, dude. Love to see other creative types uh, bugling the call of the Iron Age. Doing my best, sir. Uh, it says there's two fucking replies here, but I only see mine. Um, I wonder if something got... Is there something being held for fucking review? I bet. Um... God, I hate when they do that. I, 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 I hate YouTube's fucking comment system. That was one of the coolest things to fucking see. Fucking razor fist down in my comments section. Like, what the fuck? And then he also, like, followed me on Twitter. That was, that was fucking crazy. So thank you so much, the Rageaholic, for commenting. And I appreciate you being here. Hopefully you come back. That would be awesome. Craig Wilson, what do you mean the public doesn't want to read my trans being leftist brown fanfic of Robin? Idiots, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. Uh, thank you so much, Craig Wilson. General Ralph, social justice is a mental disease like, sp like a spreading virus. Some people hear it and say it's the stupidest thing they've ever heard. Some people are exposed to it. Uh, and slowly turn into incoherent zombies. We are the ones with immunity, so it's up to us to rebuild the culture. Yes, you are 100% right, General Ralph. That, like, well said. It is up to us to rebuild the culture. That's what we have to do. You are 100% on that. Um, uh, I don't argue on internet no more. All right. All right. Maybe you don't argue on the Internet and I'll throw this out there to uh, support indie authors. We've been fighting for a long time to wrench literature back from the woke commies for a decade and need support. I'm trying. I am legit trying. All right. Uh, Philip Barajas. Uh, great video. You earned a sub from me. Um. Thank you, Philip Baraha. Sorry, it's the, the comments are being weird. Summer, like, child. Okay, somebody. I think somebody was like trying to come down the stairs or something. I don't know. Um. Anyway, sorry. I was like, what? What are you? What are you doing, child? What? And then they disappeared. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, Summer. Yeah, I discovered another channel for my hobbies. Uh, I'm an older millennial, like barely in it, and I grew up in the '90s and early 2000s. Man, life was way better than this uh, current timeline. It's a literal downgrade. Um, possibly. I did disagree, though. I said some might think that I, I wouldn't go back personally. I loved my childhood, but I love my children even more. And they make today's world better in every way for me. And that's the thing is like, I, I think every adult is like, oh, my God, just like. But when you were a kid, I think all this crap has always been going on. There's always been some sort of a cultural fight going on. Um, one, we just see it more with um, Facebook and social media. And two, we're adults and we care. Like my kids have no idea there's a culture war going on. None. You know why? Because they're fucking kids right they're they like they're not being exposed to any of this crap you know i still you know they still watch youtube and they still know what games are and they still have friends and they talk and stuff but yeah no like my kids are being kids and they need to be kids for a while you know and as they start getting into the teen years and stuff like that all right now we're going to start introducing them to this stuff because guess what you're going to near adulthood and when you become an adult it's it's time to get serious about it and you need to start influencing the world around you and that's that's their job. That's all of our jobs. But right now they're kids. And you know, I'll take I'll take a couple. I'll take a I'll, I'll take a couple hits for them to make sure that they can have their childhood intact. That's my job as their father. But thank you so much Summer for commenting. I appreciate it and you actually came back with a comment there and we had a great conversation. So thank you. Talking Pulp Press, I think you're the first channel to shine a light on Dan the Destructor, which is awesome because I'm the author. There's already two more books in the series as I'm working on the next one. That's amazing. So Talking Pulp Press, for those out there, all three words, Talking Pulp Press, go subscribe to him on YouTube. He is uh, the author of Dan the Destructor, which was the uh, article that I read and went through or the, the, the review uh, that I read on Iron Age Media, which I still have pulled up here. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, so thank you so much, Talking Pulp Press. Larry Benfield. Yes, Larry Benfield. It is a long, uh, it is a long time to let, it is long time to let go of all the anger of how Marvel, DC, Disney, and such have wrecked the old franchises and support a new generation of creators and content and pump life back into the pop, into the pop culture through different paths versus large corporations uh, that no longer have fans in mind. Yes, it is, it is long past that time. Uh, we should stop being angry about stuff, stop hate watching stuff, and we should start gleefully supporting the people out there who are writing the stories that we can be gleeful about. So, yeah, let's it's time to stop being angry about this shit and move on. Again, the thing that will kill these Marvel and DCs and Disney's faster is not your hatred. It's your ambivalence. Um, trust me, they think you coming out doing hate videos for them is great. They love it. That's awesome to them. But when all of a sudden nobody is talking about it, there's a problem. So, yeah, I would I, I choose ambivalence in that regard. Uh, <clears throat> Kelt of of Canaan Esserix. OK, I like the almost historically drawn narrative a name like Iron Age brings up because to me it makes me think of the Bronze Age collapse the old institutions and the great civilization of the Middle East all collapsed under the pressure uh under the pressure or invasion and mass production and mass production uh by the people for the people of the very first iron weapons bringing with it the seed of a new era yes i think that it was a well thought out phrase from uh, from Razor Fist when he came up with that. So absolutely. I think you're hundred percent correct. Celt of Canaan, Can Can Canaan, Esrix. I'm sorry. I am, I am an idiot. I, 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 I can't read. <laughs> All right. Uh, anime problem. Uh, if you're just crazy enough to write something like a chainsaw man, because, uh, only a crazy person can write something like that. So anime problem is, also now a part of the Gilded, and avidly trying to get us to check out Chainsaw Man. Uh, so, um, we're going to have to check that out. A Chainsaw Man. I will have to do that. Um, a Tempo Looking 22. More uh, Isekai. More Isekai. Okay, that's all I said. Thank you so much, Tempo Looking 2022. Um, uh, Heroin Berg, this came up in my recommendations. We haven't associated ourselves with any movement name, but we've been creating consistently for the past, past five years, producing a live action TV uh, series, which customers purchased to download with 21 episodes and a comic book title with three issues available in physical form in 200 stores. We also now uh, have fans helping us produce custom videos. I understand you like the pulp era. Uh, and it's very inspirational. Our focus is Silver Age and Bronze Age heroines and uh, good girl art. So, yeah, that's Heroin Berg. So, yeah, we actually checked this out on the live stream this week. And, yeah, they're doing a very, very female-centric superheroes and uh, 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 and stuff in in what they're doing. Uh, looked like an interesting comic. So, yeah, go check out uh, heroinberg.com. Um, yeah, and thank you so much for being here, Heroinberg. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Uh, Slanesh Hedonite. I'm in. I think you mean you're in on the channel. So thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. David, solid take. I appreciate it, David. Thank you. Rex Blazer. Uh, I'm a creating it. I, I'm creating an indie comic of my own, but one of the, um, but one that's based around a fantasy action adventure story on another planet with giant elemental uh, snake people. The name of the story is Blazer. And while I'm, uh, Producing the comic pages, both writing and art-wise, I'm also looking uh, for a means to produce physical copies so that I can sell them. And we did pull up uh, this. It's a deviant art page. We did pull that up and cover. See, I knew it was here somewhere. Um, and cover the um, the deviant art page from Rex Blazer, which is really good, actually. So uh, we did that in a in a live stream, which we'll go over and we'll cover that video here in just a second. Uh, Robert False just bookmarked Iron Age. That uh, just bookmarked Iron Age. The Iron Age media. It's uh, right up my alley. I'm writing pulp sword and sorcery books. Two written 
uh, one deep in the editing process, and I'm trying to publish it this year. More to come. I'm just writing the fiction I want to read. The Indie Army Grows. I said, that's fantastic. Keep up the good work. And I'm sure that they appreciate it. Also, Robert Falls, come back here when your stuff is done or send me a link. Join the Gilded. I'm literally going to have to make a, a Gilded thing specifically for Iron Age writers. And I'm going to have to figure out what the fuck that even means for them to post their own content. So that way I, uh, we can all go and support them and read their stuff. So thank you so much, Robert Paulson. Don't forget to come back here if you're still, if you see this video. Uh, one, two, three, four, Flux. The Ripperverse is just the beginning. Yes. Um, Drake the Duelist. Hmm. What do you need to get in on this? Do you need an actual comic? Been working on an original no uh, novel series for a while now, but I just can't find any, uh, find a writing group or editors who are willing to take even the elevator pitch seriously. Had to drop the project due to lack of interest, especially after... Uh, the, the cough heard around the, uh, around the world, uh, ran, uh, roughshod over my finances, but it is every bit in the vein of the iron age. Just, wa uh, just waiting for its chance to break out. Yeah, honestly, I, um, I, I don't have many other resources. I think as far as getting everything published, I mean, you, you got to try to self publish it, I think is what a lot of people are saying. And then find like places like iron age media and say, Hey, I'm, uh, I'm self published. I'd like to send you guys a, a book or have you guys just honestly review it. Uh, and hopefully it is good. And if it is good, they give you a good review. And if it's not good, well, they might not give you a good review, but hopefully it is. And hopefully, uh, you can get it out there. Uh, Drake, the duelist. And if you do let me know and come back here and I will do my best to try to shout it out. I'm writing a fantasy story, been developing it for over two decades, and I'm finally making decent progress on it. Uh, I think I'm hoping to finish it soon, my first book ever. Well, with two decades worth of thought into it, hopefully it turns out incredibly well. And I wish you um, all the luck. Project uh, Peachy, so P-C-H-Y. Jason Lewis, I'll be honest, razor fist, razor fist in the thumbnail made me click. Glad I did. Subbed. Thank you so much, Jason Lewis. Uh, Charles uh, Jansen, he can't, uh, too. Charles W. Jansen, too. I some just ship from Ripa. Can't wait. Cyberfrog is great. Got the uh, Salamandroid figure. That's fantastic. I wish that um, my Ripa comic was shipping, but it's not. Um, Giovanni Too Many, over three and a half thousand view. A uh, thousand views. Wow, dude, this is freaking awesome. I knew the channel had potential. Don't give up. Keep grinding and stay creative. Learn your audience and sky's the limit. That's everything I hope to do, Giovanni Tuminia. And thank you so much for being here, man. You guys, you guys, you've been here through some good videos and some bad videos and giving me some great criticisms. So thank you so much. Um, Xavier Guzman, early congrats on over a thousand subs. Okay, so we are not over a thousand subs. We are currently, as of the recording of this video, and I can't believe I didn't shout it out on YouTube. I just realized I didn't shout it out on YouTube. As of the recording of this video, oh God, the ring light. Wow, I love how this camera focuses. It's so much better than my old one. We are at 930 subscribers, which uh, last week we were only at like 750. That shows you how many people have come into the channel. Almost 200 people in a week, which is really crazy, I think, yeah. Yeah, almost almost 200 people in a week, which is nuts. Um, so thank you so much. And I, man, I, I, maybe we can hit. It would be really cool to hit a thousand subscribers by Halloween. I would I would love that. That would be fantastic. Uh, Jonathan Soko. Oh, my God. This video is going to be long. <laughs> uh, yes. Supporting creators around here with money is useful. Uh, there we go. Sorry to click that open, but not all the time. Why? There are creators like Az who spend all the money he's given on buying himself toys and stuff like that. He does nothing good with that cash. He literally just spoils himself with children's items, and that's the case for a lot of people. Uh, then they just sit on their webcam and make low uh, and make low to no effort videos attacking the low-hanging fruit and rake it in. We can do much better than that, and I refused to think those... Uh, 
kind of creators are useful. I may not be the biggest Razorfist fan, but at least the guy uh, creates himself. He tries to provide an alternative, whereas many others uh, do just as I said, rake in people's cash just to buy themselves material items and then make uh, no make no effort rants. Um, I can absolutely see the sentiment there. And there is one thing that they do provide, and that is entertainment and escapism. And they give people comfort in knowing that not everybody in the world is insane. Um, but I, yeah, I mean, if you, if that's how you feel about as and a lot of his stuff. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I watch as when he is on other, other people's channels. Um, his channel's not, I like him when he's talking with people and have it just doing a podcast. Like when he's on with a drinker, like I like him there. Um, I think he's good on Friday night tights. Not really my thing uh, for his channel. I mean, but that's, I, I like him. I still think he's a good guy. I don't really know him personally. It would be great to know him personally, but um, yeah, I mean, if he's not your style of content, but, but don't forget that like he does provide escapism for people and he does in, you know, and in his country where he's at, he can be arrested probably for, for some of the things that he says, like they're, they're getting that bad. So, um, yeah, I mean, I do, I do respect that though. I do, I do, you know, it's part of the reasons I don't, I don't want to do like the hate watch stuff. I'm not going to hate watch a show and sit there and just, oh, I'm going to hate watch this show and then talk shit about it. And then even though like, I know it's going to be bad and then just try, that's just not my style. And that's, so that's why I'm trying to do something different. So, but thank you so much, Jonathan Soko. I appreciate you being here. Church versus the world. Glad to see, man, I haven't seen you on the channel in like a month and a half. Holy crap. Uh, not since like the Ripa stuff really started taking off. Church versus the world. Glad to see you're growing fast, fast, bro. I wish I'd had my shit together. He said shirt, but I think he meant shit. Uh, together better to grow with you, but I'm getting there. Hey, dude, no worries, man. It takes time for everybody. And trust me, like this channel is four years old this channel is four years old um and i tried doing stuff on it for years and it wasn't until the ripper stuff came out when it kicked <clears throat> so just just keep grinding dude um and just talk about the stuff that you're passionate about um don't talk about the stuff you hate talk about the stuff you're passionate about all right swift sword uh rush from 10 hours ago hopefully these kinds of things just keep growing i hope that they do Oh, and one more, guys. Wow, so that was a lot from the Iron Age Media is winning. Holy crap. There's more comments on it now. Where did more comments? Well, I guess I left one. I don't know. People are still commenting on that video. All right, let's go to uh, the live stream that I did the next day. It's got 10 comments on it. So let's just see what uh, those ones are real quick because I kind of forget to do that once in a while. Um... All right, Billy Bobsack. Love how I can inspire a hate boner from you. Yeah, Billy Bobsack is the only thing that I will fucking do a hate video on. I will fucking hate that son of a bitch always. But he was really, really, it, we had a blast in D&D. &D. Like, it was really fun. That was, that was awesome. <laughs> that was great. Uh, thank you so much, Billy Bobsack. Uh, Philip Barajas. Uh, howdy, DWC, which, yes, uh, which drink with crazy. Um, wasn't able to catch the live stream uh, between Razor Fist Arcade and Friday Night Tights, but I still made sure to come back and watch the replay. Okay, the fact that you did that is amazing. Uh, you mentioned not wanting to stream during FNT. Perhaps you could stream on uh, Saturdays as sort of a recap for everything in the past week of the Fellowship and the Iron Age Circles. Just a thought. Love the content I've been seeing. Keep it up so far. Thank you so much, Philip Rajas. I, I, <laughs> Saturdays. Are well, and now we're doing the D&D stuff on the Gilded Saturday. Night, it's like 7 p.m. That went for five hours last night. We were over like, yeah, it was almost six hours. It was ridiculous. Um, but there was also a lot of technical difficulties as well. Um, and so there was that. So th my Saturday nights are taken up. Um, my Saturday mornings, I am doing things with the family. And then my Saturday afternoons, I also try to do things with the family. And then like Sunday mornings, which somebody, uh, popped in first angel popped in said Sunday after church. Then well, like I am literally recording this. Like I, I started recording this at like eight 30 
in the morning. Uh, yeah, like 8.30 in the morning, 8.40 in the morning, and it's almost 10 o'clock now. And then I have to edit this, render it, and get it out to all of you lovely people, and that takes a ton of time. Um, yeah, this render is going to take forever. And then the processing, this video is not going to be out like until like 2 or 3 in the afternoon. Um, and I, I might have to... I, I, I might have to convert this into a live stream format in order to get it out expediently. I don't know if this would work in a live stream format because I don't want to neglect the live stream chat. Right? I don't want to neglect everybody down there in the live stream chat, but I also want to be able to read your guys' comments as much as I can. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. So, but thank you so much, Philip Brahas, for being here. Uh, John Gon 76 loving your channel, bro. Keep it up. Thank you so much. I am, I am working my tail off. I am trying to, uh, swift sword brush. Also, if you're a, uh, if you're a creative type seeing iron age media yet, don't have any book slash comic printed for, uh, an article to highlight. There's a spot to submit short stories on the website, uh, to weekly prompts as another way to get your writing out there. Thank you. Swift sword brush. You happen to know a lot about that. And thank you so much. I'm sure that that is very, very beneficial for um, all of the indie writers out there and all of the Iron Age writers looking to get their content out there. So this week has been a ride and a half. What posts? Do I have comments on posts? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see. Why are you doing that? Top comments. Rex Blazer posted on uh, the oh, one of my posts this week with his Deviant Art link, and then uh, I mentioned that I was going to go live uh, doing some stuff, and Hal's XD just asked for a time period. So, <sighs> thank you all so much for being here on a drink with Crazy. This week has been a wild ride, and. I, th this is going to get crazy quick. I, with the, the if, if I keep getting that many comments and trying to go through and read everything, I'm going to have to figure out a different way to do this. Because uh, I, if it, I don't know if, if I will be able to keep, oh, and Sassy just commented on a post from today uh, saying coffee is essential to life. Yes, it is sassy. Uh, I, I'm barely even, I'm glad I caught that real quick. So yeah, sassy says coffee is essential to life. And that's part of the reason that this is late. Um, otherwise, I'm going to have to start recording these at like 430 in the morning and then um, putting them out because that's the only way I'm going to get them out before noon. But we'll see. But thank you all so much for being here on a drink with crazy. If you guys like what I'm doing on the channel and you like to have your comments read on Sundays, I'm, I'm going to keep doing this as long as I possibly can but i realize an hour and a half that that's gonna get that's getting a little spicy uh, <laughs> but if you guys want to have your comments right on sundays don't forget to comment down below if you guys like what i'm doing here on the channel subscribe to the channel share the channel for me if you want to be a part of an awesome community go in the link in the description in gilded and be a part of an awesome community over there and thank you all so much for being here oh also like the video yeah tap the like button because you're supposed to do that too so thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you all next time. Cheers, everybody.